fate of the universe on the line. I want Iguadala. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Curry, way down to All stars, old stars, new stars galore. Teams might be losing, but some don't lose their allure. Variants increasing, some of them have no cure. But with all the injuries, the NBA seems poor. But we still got to talk about it on the Hashtag Wallace Main Bay Podcast, your favorite NBA podcast in an Indian accent. We are back at it again with episode 12 of season 6. And if you don't know already, my name is Ashwin. And before we begin, I'd like to urge you all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and follow us on all your favorite podcast listening platforms. In the association this week, 10 players from the Lakers and Warriors dominate the all-star first returns. Jordan Clarkson put up his fist against someone much bigger than him, knowing there is no fighting in the NBA. And Nikola Jokic continues to be bored of scoring and tries everything short of refereeing the game. Speaking of fake, I've got with me, as always, someone with a Kurgi American accent, Someone with more burners than KD, but less than me. And someone who has fake signatures, but not app reviews. My co-host, Vinny Devilla. What's up, what's up, what's up? Fake signatures, huh? Yeah, you fake my signature during that police investigation in Bangalore. Police is, investigation? You, you'll not remember this. Oh, the police uh, certification. Address verification. Address verification. Yeah. Okay, okay, true, true. Uh, okay, the, no, he didn't do that. And neither did I. We did not do any of that. We did not do those things. It was just a story. To make the podcast interesting, too, it's it's a it's a way to draw the audience into the podcast. Because <laughs> we are now a four-digit follower wala podcast, so you know we got to do these things. Yes, <laughs> I feel like you you are fifty-nine thousand followers away from being the man of the house. So we should oh, make man. <laughs> <laughs> Like if we have more followers than Ramya, you will have such real authority in the household. You'll be like. <laughs> That's a little bit, like at least six more years down the line. So we'll talk about it (laughs) during season 12. (laughs) Vinit, one time for us, what was your first reaction when you saw that number? My first reaction was this is super overdue. (laughs) As you know, I have been uh, trying to uh, figure out how to increase our social followers for a while. And I we know all the tactics that people use. We just Mm -hmm. wanted to not use them uh, and be honest uh upfront and hope that we are go organically viral none of those things happened <laughs> <laughs> even if you go viral I, I don't know we had like we had that luka doncic one luka. go viral then yes. uh we had that, no we had one of your things also go quite no i mean no. my uh, my two or three reels reached to 30 40000 people correct 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 but uh, it didn't really bring uh, that many actually you know th- those reels bought a lot of followers but other than that like you know we we didn't really get that many followers and people are you know our fans are really uh invested in our brand and yeah um they always engage with our content uh so i, w- I just thought that you know there's there should be more followers to just make us feel good because, you know, you know, we go and tell people, oh, we have we a podcast. We all deserve to feel good. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we have a podcast and then people are like, oh, podcast. And then they go see our followers. We've been doing for six years. There's 900 <laughs> followers, a little bit. Yeah. So, thousand seems respectable. You yeah, know? Exactly. We can now be like four digits and people will not know. Is it 9999? Is it 1000? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like after like a thousand like or two thousand, like, they, you know, the growth is faster. Rate of growth gets faster. Nothing. No, none of the other formulas have worked for us. So let's see if this formula. Let's hope. Works. Hope. Let's hope that our formula of hope works. <laughs> uh, Vinit, a lot of things have happened in this past week. I mean, it's not that long since we talked, but uh, All Star returns have ha- first returns have come in. KD has got injured. Zion has gotten injured. Like Phoenix Suns have dropped to below 500 for the first time in a really long time. Very long time, yeah. So all of that have happened. Let's uh, pick up some topics and then talk about it. We have some quirky topics as well. We'll talk about the all-star returns. First round of returns has happened. And uh, just a reminder, this is the returns, first round returns, and we will discuss those. So just imagine that it is there, Vinny. And okay. I hope you open it somewhere. <laughs> We've got on the Western Conference right now, top vote getter in the entire... Oh, yeah, wow. Top go to get into the entire uh, NBA. LeBron James with 3.17. Close to 3.17 million votes. 
uh, followed by Nikola Jokic, very well deserved, obviously. Anthony Davis, uh, okay, we'll talk about it later. We got Zion Williamson, Andrew Wiggins, Paul George, Laurie Markin, and Draymond Green, Kawhi Leonard, and Kevon Looney finishing up the top 10 for the Western Conference front court. Uh, the guards, we've got the Stephen Curry, Luka Doncic, Ja Moran, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Clay Thompson, Russell Westbrook, Damien Lillard, Devin Booker, Austin Reeves, and Jordan Poole. In the Eastern Conference, we've the front court, we've got Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, Pascal Siakam, Kyle Kuzma, Paolo Banchero, Nick Claxton, and Paolo Jared Banchero. Allen. Uh, guards, maybe we've got Kyrie Irving, oh God. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, James Harden, Jalen Brown, Trey Young, Demar DeRozan, Lamelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, yes, Derek Rose, and Darius Garland. A uh, lot of names, a lot of perennial all-stars in this. A lot of Warriors and Lakers in this when both, too both those teams have been... Too many. Absolutely. 10. 10 matlab is absolutely too much. I mean, Austin Reeves and all <laughs> making it is ridiculous. Austin Reeves, Kevan Looney, come on. Kevan Looney, yeah. But Kevan Looney had one no, more no, buzzer beater no, than... No, no. Stop <laughs> it. Buzzer beater. But yeah, no, the there's, buzzer no, beater. there's no Sabonis, man. Come on. That is ridiculous. There's no Sabonis at all. Sacramento Kings, uh, De'Aaron and Fox should be there. Sabonis should be there. Okay, fine. Uh, Let's have like a focus discussion. You're in the West, front court, back court, both combined. You think your biggest uh, uh, snub, let's say. Biggest snub, uh, Sabonis. Uh, and uh, I think the, the Sacramento Kings need to have more. I think uh, Fox is in there, right? No, he's not there. He's not there. So I think the, the Sacramento Kings need one all-star. They've played, they've played mm-hmm. really well. Uh, I think Bane from Memphis Grizzlies should be there. Um, okay. Desmond Bain. I don't think even Bain thinks that, but sure. What? The second best player of that team? Ah, yeah, it's okay. That team is not doing that great that they need to have two players enough. Yeah. Number two seed. Yeah, I mean, that's a, like a, you know, very one game away from number six seed, number five seed. No, they're not like no, and they've always time. been on the top three seeds since the beginning of this season. Fine. I mean, I, I, I don't think so, but let's go. Let's go. Uh, Desmond Bain. Then I feel like uh, Booker is there. But I think he could be higher. Yeah, that's pretty much it in the West. Guards, right? You asked West guards, right? No, no, I just said West uh, front court, back court, everything. Oh, front court, back court. Uh, I mean, Sabonis, you, uh, Sabonis is a front court player. Front, front court. Who else is there in front court? That's it. Yeah. What about Aaron Gordon? You think he deserves a no. spot in the top? I mean, not in the top three, obviously, because that is sort of... Uh, there's no way, but number one seed, Nuggets. Jamal Murray has not played most of the games. Aaron Gordon has played much more. Yeah, but uh, he's not the second best player on the team. Who do you think is the second best player on the Nuggets? Jamal Murray. Is it Yo- Nikola and Jokic? Those are the first and second best players. Yeah. No, Jamal Murray is the second is the sec- is the second best player on the team in that team. I mean, but he's not played that much. That many that, games. Yeah, that he, is a different thing, but he's still the I mean he's played enough. I mean, he's what? not played that well. He just recently started playing well. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you, okay. I, I'll, I'll tell you my, so them even getting Shea Gilgis Alexander up to fourth place, I think is a testament to how basically he's played. I think he'll definitely be in the, not the starting lineup. There's no way in the starting lineup, but he'll definitely be in the referee's pick. I mean, what are they called? Not referee, the coach's pick. So I, I think he's definitely going to make it there, which is, I think is great. Uh, Sabon is not being even in the top 10 in fan voting is just testament to how the fan voting is uh, dominated by, uh, you know, like the Bay Area tech crowd. Uh, Lakers is not tech the... crowd. But Lakers is still Bay Area, you know, I mean, no. uh, California. It's not. Bay Area is different, Cal- LA is different. But still, it's say all the same, same state of California, you know. Man, same, come on. California is not called, the Bay Area is just San Francisco. And Berkeley yeah. and all of these, Oakland and all this stuff. But still, LA is, LA it, is, is more still to the south place? towards uh, Mexico. Uh, did you know about this one rule change that they did from last year, which is why the votes have changed a little bit? No, no, no. Tell me. <laughs> last year? Because if I said yes, then you wouldn't have your... Ah, I, mean, I would still have said it. But last year, what they did was they had... NBA app voting, which you could vote on the app or go to the website and vote on the website. And you could only vote once every 18 hours or something like that. Something was there. But you could on Twitter vote 
using the hashtag NBA All Star and hashtag f- players first name or something like that was their second name. But the caveat was that if you retweeted a person's tweet, that also used to count as a vote. Oh. And then there were special days when the votes would count for two times as much. Like one vote counts as two votes. Uh, this year they made one vote count as three votes. But what they've done is they've removed the Twitter integration because what happened is last year, uh, Warriors collabed with one of the BTS members. I forgot his name. Oh, very I remember fa- that. Yeah. Famous BTS member. And on the day when the votes counted for two, this guy posted a tweet. Saying vote, uh, I don't, I don't know if it was Clay Thompson or uh, some some person. Was it Clay Thompson? Yeah, I think so. Or John Poole? Yeah. Or some, or John Poole. I think it's Clay Thompson. If I'm not wrong. Someone, someone. It was there. Every retweet that they got was worth two votes because you wow. could just retweet it. You didn't even have to tweet it by yourself. The retweet got uh, and BTS army is like a huge yeah. army. So automatically everything just worked towards and a lot of Golden State, uh, I think must have been Wiggins then. I think it was Wiggins. Wiggins, you're right, you're right. So uh, NBA saw that they were like, oh, well, we can't, you know, like let it go do it to such levels. So we'll take that Twitter integration out, but you can still vote on the NBA app and there's time limits and this and that. And And I think yesterday or something, if you voted, it was three votes. Like one vote is equal to three votes. Oh, shit, I didn't do another. So they they changed that. Of course, they've added many changes through the years because earlier it was only purely fan voting for the starters. But now it is fan, for the starters itself, it's fan voting is, uh, gets uh, weightage of two and then uh, other players votes get weightage of one and then uh, NBA, the coaches votes get vo- rating of one and then you combine it together and then out of that the top vote getters, I mean sort of point getters become the starters for the all-star team. Because otherwise, I think there was a year when Zaza Pachulia was sort of uh, second or third. So he would have gotten into the All-Star. But they made sure that Zaza Pachulia does not see an All-Star game as a starter. And uh, is it only coaches or is it coach and executives? No, no, it's only coaches. Only coaches, okay. But, uh, ah, yeah, coaches. Uh, so a lot yeah. of power for those 30 people. No? Coaches vote is pooled together separately. Players vote is pooled separately. And your fan votes is pooled separately. So that 30 is one of 30. And the players is like one of 450. If you don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Right? So there's a lot of weightage for uh, that. That's a lot. That's a lot of power. Okay. And I, I don't think there's any restriction. As in, I think players can't vote for themselves. Themselves, yeah. Ah, uh, but... Uh, yeah. But shout yeah. out to D-Rose, by the way. Where, where, do you know which team he's playing for now? New York next door. Uh. For what? Where the D-Rose was playing? Dude, he was, he was averaging like 16 points a game the last season. That's pretty good. Man, D-Rose, we, we love you. So, you know, all this. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's all. But he's, he's, also become a, he's also become a truther. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that yeah. video of his... Uh, I, I think like there is, you know, there is this like levels. Like once you get rich, right, then you just become a truther. I feel like. You become like a conspiracy theorist because you have nothing else to do, right? So you just like you're like surprised suddenly. Why? Or do you think it is because once you become rich, you see the workings of how money works, and you realize that the channels are pretty tightly controlled? As it because you have seen the matrix, do you think that's possible? Uh I think that there is a little bit of a realization that everything is stacked stacked against you. Mm. And there, and that's when you have real appreciation for the people who came from nothing and like just powered through uh, to where they are, right? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know money, but I would assume. Yeah. So I think that you have that real appreciation for that. But I don't think that you, I, I think that if you're smart enough, then it's just everything is just more knowledge. It doesn't become the truth. It doesn't become like, oh my God, this is a conspiracy theory. No, this is how it worked. You just didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like yeah, exactly. when I mean, someone finds yeah. something that they, they, they thought that, oh shit, like, did you know that? I was like, yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> but we all knew it. Now you also know there's no conspiracy theory behind it. I, I think, I think that's a very fair point that, oh, I didn't know, but that doesn't mean that the truth is not there. You just were not privy to it. You were not yeah. invited to that club. 
but now you are so you see it and then you realize oh my god this is stacked against most people most like people. i i'm not lucky but there are, obviously there's a little bit of success luck in every oh, success a lot of luck. that you get a lot of luck yeah success yeah. is a lot i mean but you, you still need to have your Correct. stuff you know your like luck is luck on. has a lot to do with it but you still have to mm-hmm. have your hard work and talent or whatever it is Whatever it is. Whatever it is. We don't know. What we don't know. Some things are there. We, we only have a thousand followers, you know. <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> uh, okay, we need in the East. Uh, for me, Kyrie Irving being there is a bit of a problem. But then the Nets are on a streak. And I'm like, Kyrie Irving has fans. Um, no, but why Why be, you don't you know, think Kyrie Irving should be there? Kyrie Irving nah, is the second guy. best player on the best team in the East. On the best team. On a guard. On the best team in the East. I mean, they were tied, no, for the best team. With no, the Celtics. No, never, oh, one game, tied. okay, whatever. One game behind uh, uh, the best team in the East. Uh, well, he's now. averaging a 50-40-90. I, mean, I don't see why he cannot be an All-Star. I think, yes, we... I mean, I'm him. sure he will be an All-Star. I'm not saying he won't be an All-Star. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I just don't... Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Are, but my reasons are not even basketball reasons. Like, technically, exactly. they're not exactly. basketball reasons. Yeah, so I agree with you on that. It's like, he's annoying and... but. Whatever we say, however we do it, when he's on the basketball court and he is doing his thing, he is a good player. Um, okay, so my my question is, let's just like take Kyrie Irving out of this thing, right? Like the second okay. vote, most vote getter is Donovan Mitchell, who's down by like almost half a million. So yeah, that's because of, uh, Kyrie is uh, definitely going to be a starter. Let's just like uh, yeah, yeah. He's definitely so Donovan, be a Donovan is playing really well, but he plays for Cleveland, and hmm. you know, I feel like. If, Kyrie has far more fans. Kyrie might be the like. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about any of that. I understand Kyrie's entire this two million votes is not an accident. Like he's the tenth highest vote getter in the entire NBA. Like tenth yeah. highest in the entire NBA, which means that obviously not only do people love him, but he's playing well and all of that. Like there, it's very easy to make people forget about all the horrible things. You just need to do one good thing once in a while, and they're like, "Oh my God, we remember yeah, this." Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's not my my point. Is okay, that's taken. But let's yeah, take yeah. Kyrie out of this equation. Okay. Who would your pick have been for the second guard in the East? Mitchell. Who else? No, Donovan Mitchell is obviously one of those two spots. Oh, you think? Who would the okay, second spot? The second guard. So the first guard would be. Uh, Jalen Brown, obviously. Hmm. Uh, I'm also I mean, thinking to Jalen Brown because none of these other but people. I fourth, think right? Jalen Brown is fourth. fourth yeah. And but the gap is like a oh lot. So who's third? Those, third is Harden. Harden. Ah, Harden also not bad. Either. But I think uh, Jalen Brown deserves to be there because Celtics as a number one seed deserve like yeah, people yeah. in that. But the front court in the East is an oh. absolute mess. And this is where we earn our bucks. Yeah, Kevin Durant. I, I mean, metaphorically, there no. is no literal bucks here. Okay. Kevin Durant, hmm. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum. Simple question. Who is not in the top three for the front court? According to you, who will be out and why? Who will be out? I think Embiid. Not who will be out, who should be out. Embiid, you know, there's only three spots. There are four people. One of them is out. Who is that out? Embiid. Okay. And why Embiid? I mean, a team performance. Uh, he was kind of shaky to start off with. Uh, Yanis has been solid since tip off. Durant has been solid tip off, and Tatum has been solid since tip off. Since tip off, I think Embiid started off a little bit shaky. He then gained a lot of momentum. Sixes momentum. I think he was injured for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. So I think that's the only reason. But otherwise, he's he's been just a monster since he's come back. Tough to argue with that. But I, I think, uh, I mean, I, I don't even know how to say Embiid can't be there. He is also averaging like a thirty double double, thirty points, twelve rebounds. Yeah. Uh, defensively doing all these things. But uh, I mean, you can't take out Jason Tatum, number one best player. You can't take out Tatum and Giannis. You can't take out Tatum and Giannis. I. So, yeah, so but only... again, I mean, I think between Durant and Giannis, one of those players will, I mean, in my opinion, those are the, that is the thing. I think Embiid needs to be there, but not needs to be there also because 
team is not doing that, but his numbers no, are think, also monster. I think the, the problem with Durant is that Durant really doesn't play defense. He's not a mm. defensive player. But just if you're looking at game wise, right? Yeah, Giannis, that's... Tatum, they play defense. Quite I hard. mean, the Nets as an entirety over the past yeah, ten they years no... they've been number five, number five in defensive rating. But otherwise, like on a whole, that team is not a like they are like we will score and then you guys, you know, sort of. Yeah, so I feel that's, that's kind of a thing about him, the Durant, like he doesn't have that. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, I would take out Embiid. Who would you take out? I have no better answer, but uh, I would like to give a different answer because I don't want to give you a same answer. Uh, well, give a different reason. answer then. Come on. This is, you but said I, this is where you make a box. <laughs> you literally did not make your I box. did not expect you to say <laughs> Embiid. I, I thought you would say uh, Giannis uh, can't be there because no, team, uh, right now is right not answer doing answer that is great. Now. We both know the right answer is Embiid. But you did not get your box right there. You said this is where we earn our box and you, <laughs> you didn't do it. <laughs> I think all four should be there and there should be only one a guard and that should be Donovan Mitchell. We can ask Kyrie Irving to like, you know, move on and find some other place to display his face. But uh, I, I think that's, that's like there's no other right answer. It has no, to be that, that, purely by... Thing. But that's true even for the guards position in the West. We have Steph, huh. Luca, and uh, Ja Morant. Oh no, I, I think the best two guards in the Western Conference, Steph and Luca. But Steph probably, I, I don't know, I think he's supposed to come back this week. Sometime, mm. uh, I mean, if if they come back, then there's what about team like, performance? Like, uh, just, you know, yeah, but uh, like Steph is like way ahead of everybody else. That's, that's uh, the I, truth. I, I feel it. like I feel like Ja has, a, but yeah, Steph has too many votes. So Steph is definitely going in. No, Steph is going in. Luca is going in. They both have a lot of votes. That's not gonna happen. But again, uh, team performance wise. I think they were winning a lot when Steph was there. When he got injured, we suddenly put them into the Wemby tank. No, he... They, what? Yeah. They weren't they winning were a like, lot. They were not you, winning a lot. They were like 7th, 8th position they were. You, it, can you guess what seed they are right now? 5 or 6? Yes, they are number 6 seed. And uh, when... I think they lost two games consecutively. I think the Pistons and Magic games they lost. And before the, they lost the, uh, those two games, they were number... 10 or something and they lost those two games and still ended up at number 6 so that's how completely messed up the Western yeah, Conference Western Conference thing that that whole thing is going to shake up soon yeah like the Warriors are 7 games behind and Thunder which is number 13 is 9 games behind wow so Thunder the number 13 seed is closer to the number 6 seed than they are to the number 14 seed so mm. that's how much Gopal is going on. But, I mean, I, I agree, but uh, they are number 6 seed, so it's not like, you know, they are number 10 seed and getting uh, like getting those all-star votes. Yeah, but... Uh, another question? But Memphis I mean, is number 2, uh, number 1, you know. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, but see, Steph is going to get the votes from the coaches, yeah, from the players yeah, yeah. and the thing. But and I think it would be interesting not... for Jar to be selected as a starter over Steph. He... He can't even take it over Luca because Luca is on Luka NBA watch, is in. So that's not going to happen. Luca has been yeah. super dominant, done his thing, mm-hmm. taken his team to number fourth position all by himself. Nobody's yeah, help. Been super mm-hmm. consistent. So Luca is in. There's no Luka taking Luca out. Exactly. So Steph, you can say yeah. injured, not very good, you know, record, all that stuff you can say. Correct. But. Nobody's going to say that. But that same thing we can say about LeBron also, right? Like, LeBron's team is doing much worse than Steph's team also. Yeah. But uh, but there's not that many good is... players, I think, on the for, for a change in the forward section, the front court. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I thought, like, in the beginning, Laurie Markin would have been, like, a starter. Now the team has regressed a little bit. But uh, I still think that Laurie Markin will make it to the All-Star game. At I least think Laurie Markin will make it to the All-Star, yeah. He has to make it. He has to make it. Otherwise, you're right. Little bit, the star power is like it's not very clear cut who should be there. There are a lot of questions of he could be there. Zion is injured. He won't be there. Uh, Andrew Wiggins might end up making it. I don't know. Mm. So I think this is definitely not. So there was one. Playing. There was my one of the things that I was thinking about uh, is uh. why does Kevin Durant get injured during the All Star game? Right. So one one conspiracy theory is that he doesn't. Oh, want I love to it. Uh. He doesn't want to play the game. He's like, screw it. I, you know, now anyway, 
you know, it's, it's, it's a complete waste of time and effort and all that stuff. So I'm just going to sit and enjoy the All-Star game. Which makes totally because you still get the benefits of being an all star. Correct. Like it's not like but if you don't play, do they don't think, take it. Off. Do you think it is his generosity? Where it's like, arey yar, every year I become all star. If I'm injured, someone else gets a chance to be an all star, huh? That's 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 a little. Plus, thing. he gets to rest. Yeah. It's like positives everywhere. What negative is there? There's no negative. No negative. And we all know if Kevin Durant wants, he can drop fifty every night. Yeah. So. I, I I have to ask people and ask Kevin Durant himself what is going on. Is this true? Because he always doesn't play. Not always. Picks the right? most stupidest team in the in the he always possible picks the stupidest history. team. Yes. Always picks the most stupidest. He's like, do you want Steph Curry or Kevon Looney? Give me Kevon Looney. That kind of uh, picking he does. And he just sits back and he's just like, ah, you guys figure it out. I am an all star. That's what they're gonna say. 12 time all star. They're not gonna say 11 time all star. Didn't play the 12th time. They'll say 12 time all star. So, all time. All, plus, he gets, I mean, plus someone else gets an opportunity to play, right? Which I think it's is an really opportunity. nice. No, I think it's really nice because he he's so good that he's gonna get in anyways. Or kya ukhar lega wo khel ke? Kuch nahi. There's nothing else. Once you win all star, you're all star. The only thing you can win over there is all star MVP, which is the Kobe Bryant trophy, which is, is basically a. How how vain can you be that you also want to win another trophy in a in a, in an exhibition? In game? an exhibition game. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure KD doesn't want to win that trophy again. Uh, so such, such I mean, a perfect perfect name for that trophy, Kobe Bryant Trophy. It's like only a person who has such high vanity, you know, <laughs> will say this is an exhibition game. Then also I want to be the MVP. You know, for a, like there have been few also games which have not been this exhibition vanity. That's only in the end, right? Ah, I mean, that's where it matters. No, but Kobe like has Russell Westbrook won it twice, right? Yeah, he shot lights out. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, look at this! <laughs> and everyone's like, you know, this is <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, Vinit. Yes, sir. We talked a little bit about KD injury. KD is injured. Zion is injured. Uh, you know, we absolutely hate when NBA players get injured because then they come back, then they take like two, three more weeks to get back to playing conditions. Seriously. Steph is injured right now. Uh, I mean, I don't want to take Wiggins' name in that thing, but Anthony Davis is sort of on the path back, but uh, no, one of those weird places the NBA has gone back to again. Mm. So we thought we will spice it up. I mean, this is a horrible segue, but we thought we'll spice up the NBA with some new rules. So... Huh. I've got a couple of, like, not couple. I've got, like, four or five rules. Oh, wait. you We were supposed to make new rules. Yeah. I thought there were some new rules that we had to talk about. There are like, no there new rules. There are no rules. I was like, K K R Kasir is new rules. Is it? Yeah, so, you have no new rules with you? I have no. I, I will be the... Uh, sounding board. Be the sounding board for my yes, yes. New, new rules. Okay. All right. There are some very, very interesting rules. Okay. okay. So, first off, we'll start off with addressing this injury uh, debacle that is going on in the NBA. So, all teams will only play 58 games. They will play one game against the other team at home, one game against them at, I mean, away. Hmm. Just like the Premier League. Correct. 29 into 2, 58 games. That's it. That's all you play. And the top teams, uh, top 8 teams go to the, I mean, that, uh, that much I'm not for. I'm only talking the 58. But, Still sort of 18, 16 teams will make it to the playoffs. Okay, we get it. Okay, 58 games. Huh? Next. My God. Next is a four-point line in the NBA. Okay. So, Greg Popovich, who at one point in time used to hate the three-point line. Because it's like this is some circus shooting. There is no uh, basketball. This is not basketball. This is just like you're just shooting like a clown. Which is true. It has come true to fruition in the past uh, like 10 years. He suggested that let's just add a four-point line. So I stole this one from him, but don't tell me. So my idea is four-point line from the half court, anything from behind the half court. Even if your foot is on the line, it's still a four-point uh, shot, as long as it is you know, not in the front court. And no more corner threes. Corner threes will be taken out. Corner threes are too simple. So it'll be like... Straight uh, lines. What is it called? Not straight line, it'll be like a curve, but it'll not like go into the corner and get reduced at the corner. It'll just go into the edges of the court. Okay. 
if you take a short attempt and you make it without dribbling the ball, as in from your back court to the front court, as in once you get possession, no dribbling, just keep passing the ball and you may make a shot, you get one additional point. Oh, nice. Pass, ball doesn't touch the floor and you score. If it's a two point shot, you get three points. If it's a three point shot, you get four points. If obviously, if it's a five point, uh, four point shot, you get five points. Everything is, uh, plus one. Then if you get a technical foul, your team plays without you for 30 seconds of the game clock. So it's like a four on five for 30 seconds. Okay. No free throws, no nothing. 30 seconds, four on five. It's a, seconds. That's a lot of time in basketball. Yeah, yeah. So don't get a technical there. <laughs> okay. So this I've stolen from the ice hockey. In ice hockey, I think if you get a penalty or something, you get put into the uh, player's yeah. chamber. And then your team, it's called a power play or something like that. Where it's like a, a disadvantage is there, which exists. Those are your new rules. Those are my new rules. <laughs> I think that I, I personally don't like this four point, five point line thing. I feel like three points is mm. enough. You know, yeah, three point mm. get easier, but then if you ma- it's it just becomes then it's more of a circus. Mm. Uh, this much circus you can sort of handle in one way uh, because it's closer to the basket. You can do a little bit more defense, but if you start giving them like four or five points from there, you know, then kaha defense over kuch bhi will be total circus. So I, f- I feel like I I would never do that. Four point five. Never do four point five. Okay. Even if the three point become easier, it's fine. You know, it's not like people are shooting like 60%. So they're still like, they're still between what, 41, 42%. Uh, shooting, oh, you mean shooting three percentage, points. efficiency, I mean, uh, accuracy. Yeah. That's right. Like the oh. best person, Steph, is at 44 or 43%. 43, right? I think yeah. So, so, okay, it's not that, that much of a disadvantage. Um, then I liked, I, I think my favorite rule was the no dribble extra point. I think that's really cool. Cause I think it'll, it'll give up, it'll give for like cool plays, you know. But yeah, I think that's a cool, there'll be some clue, cool plays. Cool plays, uh, absolutely. I mean, the plays. coolest plays are when it just goes like fast break, one, two, three, and then yeah. open. Yeah. And then, uh, what was the other one? Technical fall, four yes, and five. 30 seconds is too much, uh, in a basketball game. I would, mm. I would say maybe 15, 10 to 15 seconds, not more than that. 10 to 15 seconds is not even like one shot. Then, look. Yeah. 30 seconds is. Or maybe much. one shot, like, like 24 seconds. 30 seconds is how much uh, was, uh, there on the shot clock when this first loss to the Miami Heat. 30 seconds is too much on I, yeah but then don't get a technical foul and the third like, it's not like you it's not like a personal foul a technical foul means you're yeah, going and, I feel like and shouting and all that there's no i just no i think it's too much advantage for a technical foul ah, that's it's the whole too point much of an advantage like it's a technical you're giving, foul is not like you're giving uh, free throw and possession back to a team on technical foul so this is just like that yeah but one point is different than 30 seconds 30 but seconds one point and score. possession so if you have T-Mac on your team, you can score 19 points. But if you have Rashid Wallace, then you are uh, gone. Yeah, you're gone. You dead. are gone. So my, my, yeah, no, I, no. I feel, I feel my point is that you are thinking about a technical foul at the fourth quarter, uh, two minutes left. And then yeah, that's where it counts, right? Everything else is kind of useless. Eh? But then you, nobody, nobody usually gets a technical foul at those times, right? Like most people don't get a technical foul at, at, at the closing end of the game. Because that's that's... What you're doing is just as bad because you're going to give possession back to the team and give them a free throw, which anybody can take. So, in a sense, it is still a bad play to make. No, I think, no, I feel no. That's Okay, we will ask the audience about these. Uh, See, what was the other rules. ones? Corner, like the three, no, no corner, corner three. threes anymore. No, I think it's fine. Well, I don't know, no problem with the corner threes. Um, I feel a new rule they should get back in is hand checking. An old rule. Bring back hand checking. Bring back hand checking. Hmm. Like give the defense something. You know? I, 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 I think that they should bring the defense, like remove the defensive three seconds from uh, NBA. But then it'll become like a really, like sort of yeah, a FIBA sort of rule. Then it will be like. Uh, uh, there'll be, uh, be, back to the uh, Spurs, uh, Pistons sort of finals and all. Score will be yeah. like 80. Hand checking is uh, needed because now the guards are so fast. So dominant, like you so can't do anything. Chuck, 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 you just, just yeah. are praying, praying for praying, like Donovan Mitchell when he 
I, I don't know if you saw that 79 point game. I mean, I saw that 79 point play. You saw it, it live. It was, huh? oh, yeah. it was oh. incredible. Like how, I mean, it's not that he is not skilled and he was just using like a hardened sort of bait and get fouls and all that sort of thing. He was too fast for every one of those people. And he was technically correct. And he was getting those floaters in and those three points once they start went going in, he just could not be stopped. Like it was, it was like, okay, no, heat check. Oh, heat check. Heat check. Heat check. It was that kind of a game for him. And amazing to watch. Uh, absolutely amazing. To watch. Yeah. Like, oh my God, is he going to keep on scoring? How is he going to keep on scoring? Uh, but still, I feel like that's the one thing that I would add. Um, if I had to come up with a new rule, I know this is like a tough one, but I would add, I would take off goaltending. Uh, maybe in India, because people are not that tall to reach. But in the US, I think they'll easily go, like, oh, I don't think so. Yeah, but I feel it looks cool. I feel like when a person snatches the ball from there, it just looks so cool. I was one of the things that but I... But then you can do that to a three-point shot, a three-point shot, Stefan. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the beauty of it. That's what I feel. Oh. I feel it kind of neutralizes the three-point shot. And also like sort of like think... floaters and all that stuff. Man, you, you, you called my uh, four on five idea bad and you're giving this kind of shitty idea. It's not shit. It's, I think off the board goaltending can be like reviewed. I mean, I, I see some value in what you're saying. Off the board, like if it hits the board, then you can knock it off. But directly going in shots, I don't think you can knock it. Otherwise, people just stand there, like whatever Steph is doing, just, you know, these people are all seven foot easily. They can reach the rim. Like yeah, Boban and all would be cheat code. He doesn't have to do anything. He's just like sort, 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 sort. Yeah. I just feel like, or or maybe relax the goaltending a little bit. The goaltending has become like because the the one thing that I really miss from the olden is like all these guys who just like I was looking at actually how I came up with this is I was looking uh-huh. at Dwight Howard highlights. Uh-huh. And Dwight Howard used to just jump up and like just hold, just like bring the ball. It's like oh that that it just looks like a big man move, you know? It's like yeah, give it to me, give it to no, me. No, he could he jumped. Like so yeah. high into the others. And I just thought like, man, I don't see that anymore. You know, like maybe Zion can do it once in a while, but no one goes up and just like grabs the ball midair and just brings it down. It's a Javel McGee special for a while. But Oh, uh, was it? Then Yeah, yeah, Javel McGee used to do that. He used to just go up there and get that ball. God, Dwight Howard was a beast, man. On beast. Man, I saw this uh uh podcast, I forgot which one. So, where this one guy comes like, oh, man, you suck, Dwight Howard, you can't do this, you can't do oh, that. Oh, yeah, he said, yeah. Uh, that was like, kind of, my God, that Dwight Howard, have you, do you, are you aware of what Dwight Howard has are done? Are you aware of you? Dwight Howard? Seriously, are my you? God. Have, Those highlights, he just, he just looks like, what, two, uh. Yeah, and all he had was a team where they, they shot a lot of threes, like Turkulu, Jameer Nelson, uh, this JJ Reddick and all. That's that's yeah. it. A team didn't have what any other hope. They were like, okay, and we, we and, just divert and the, the guy who came on our podcast, my friend, you forgot his name. Yes, Rashad Lewis, of course. Shout out to Rashad Lewis. Shout out to Rashad Lewis. I asked him like, who he thinks is a better player, Kawhi Leonard or KD, and he said, I have to play both of them. I can't answer this question. I said, <laughs> you're not guarding <laughs> any of them. No one. <laughs> like, who's putting you in the game to guard KD and Kawhi? They'll. I hope you didn't say. Did you say that to him? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I just, I just, I had to admire him that he still thought that they would put him in to guard these two guys. Yeah, and this is not even like Prime Rashad Lewis. It's like uh, old Prime Rashad Lewis. Lewis. Okay, I can understand. Yeah, Prime Rashad Lewis. At least he could be like okay. Oh, yeah, it was good. At least don't go right. At least go left and. Left he was very left. good in the Sonics. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Him and uh, Raymathy Allen. We need last uh, point thing we have to talk about. Uh, Every NBA team, like, you know, goes through these phases. The NBA goes through phases where some teams are strong for a while and then they go down because either their stars ca- cannot be managed by the same contracts and they go down and they can't uh, fill those gaps again. Uh, and then new players come up. I mean, for a while, New Orleans Pelicans had no business being anywhere in the NBA. But for the past three seasons, they've been starting to build. Ever since that Anthony Davis trade, they've been getting those pieces. They've been playing well. Today they are, they were at number one seed for a while. Now still the top three seeds. Denver Nuggets had no business for a long time and then slowly, slowly, slowly coming up. I think there are some teams in the NBA which I think should be like, okay, we will embrace the tank. We just got to get whatever pieces we can get for the pieces that we have. And let's just sort of finish this as soon as possible. 
I'm going to take some names out and you tell me whether you think their window so yes is over. Yes and no can answer or is there a more description? No, so sort of, I mean, obviously you can take your time also. Okay. So I, I have three teams in my head mm. right now, which I'm thinking that, okay, I, I, first I'll talk about this thing, right? Like I recently read about this thing that there is a certain level of discomfort that you're okay with, but which is terrible for you. Because if the discomfort was a little bit more, which you would think that it is bad, you would actually do something about it. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like, if your yeah. job is bad, but good enough that you don't see the badness of it, then you will stay in that job, continue to stay in that job for okay. a long time, just continue to live. But if that job was so horrible, which is like an increment, like a delta from your, this level of badness, it was so bad that you'd be like, even how much of money you give me, I can't do this thing. So in essence, that the fact that the job was a little bit badder than you actually expected is actually inspiring you to quit and find a new job or quit and find right. something else. I mean, that's that's literally my life, you know, my company and Wallace Bay. It's not great and it's not bad. No, no, no. It's just right it's there. Right there. It's, it's horrible enough. I can deal with it. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to take, uh, take some names and okay. you tell me whether, you know, you agree with this. Uh, the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Blood up. Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns. <laughs> oh man, I don't think they need to blow it up. They still have two okay. players. They they need to maybe retool, come back again, find purpose. But they have Devin Booker, they have Aiton, they have uh, what's the guy's name? But how okay, do you think they can replace Chris Paul? Yeah, they can replace Chris oh. Paul. What's like ah. Uh, a good player, man. Landry Summit. No, dude. Uh, Michael Bridges. Michael Bridges. Uh. Cam Johnson. A good place. And um, my third option is the Miami Heat. No, why? Miami Heat, it's all old people. I mean, Jay Butler is old. What? They only Butler have... is 34. Butler is 34. Uh, Bam is 30, 25. No, no. Bam. Uh, so, yeah, Bam, it up as Butler, in the superstar. Tyler Hero. I think okay. the Butler should move on to a different team, like like a contender or something, and then okay, just... that's fine. But they don't have to blow out the team. Like blow but out blow the team means uh, Kyle Lowry, Nicolo, and uh, if you can, I mean, ba- Bam Adebayo is a like genuine guy. Bam Adebayo, Tyler. You, uh, okay, okay. Bam Bam Adebayo reminds me of something that I was thinking about like some three weeks ago. Okay, do you know Sir? You know Serge Ibaka, right? I know Serge Ibaka. You're yes. aware of aware of the existence of Serge Ibaka. Yes, Milwaukee Bucks. He was supposed to be younger than Westbrook and Durant in OKC. Huh. Right, because he was part of the big four in a way. Uh, but now, at his age, he is nothing. Like you saw that uh, Giannis called him just a screen setter and rebounder. Oh my God. And How will he destroy him? But and I was thinking that, that... Very thick Nigerian accent also. Just like <laughs> put him in place. Yes. <laughs> I have, like, then did some research and, uh, I mean, obviously that Kendrick Perkins uh, squabble was also happening at that point in time where he said that this guy is much older than what he says he is. Then sort of dawned on me that it is possible, right? Like, it is possible that if he came from Africa, I mean, where he came from? Nigeria? Africa. Africa, Africa, continent, wherever he came from there. Oh, from which country he came? Uh, Uh, I think he came from Senegal. No, no, not Senegal. No? Yeah. Then I don't know. I think uh, Cameroon. No, so oh, Cameroon. Yeah. No, Congolese. Correct. Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo. Yes. So, it is possible that his birth... A, like, it's I like how you go like, of, oh yeah, Democratic Republic of Congo. No, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you why I said Democratic. Oh yeah, Democratic. Because uh, he participated in one of those all-star uh, dunk contests. Mm-hmm. And they, say, they called him Air Congo at that point of time. So, like, when I saw this, I was like, yes, yes, I don't know. Air Congo okay, okay. conversations. So just like our uh, Punjab and Haryana players, it is possible that you know they first is there because there is no reason possible. that if he's younger possible. than young, if he's younger than Russell Westbrook, that he's completely like you know lost all that athleticism and uh, all that uh, sort of. He he was a very good player on the. Also, Raptors he got injured, right? Defense. He was injured for a while. Ah, he got injured, but once you get injured, yeah, it. like look at Dwight Howard, right? I mean, but Dwight yeah, Howard was also pretty old. I think uh, Blake Griffin probably is a great example of that. Hmm. Anyway, and but what was the question? Lift. Uh, what was the My thought? Question, 
Ah, the thought was that, uh, man, I forgot the thought. Because of Bam Adebayo, you had a thought. Because Bam Adebayo. Ah, Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo also is young by numbers, but he also looks a little bit older than, you know, what. Uh, yeah. And also, like Miami Heat have uh, my favorite uh, newcomer. Jovic. Jovic. But has he, I don't think he's been playing that well he's, or that He's uh, a good much. player, man. He's kind of like right now yeah. behind. He's kind of like when Jokic is behind this other guy. The serve. Uh, what's his name? The, uh, that Serbian guy. What is his name? That other itch. Yeah, that guy. The guy who mm. plays for Portland now. Mm. Ah, yeah, Nurkic. Nurkic. And Nurkic mm. was good. It wasn't like Nurkic was bad. Okay. okay. Uh, so I feel like the same with like jo- Jovic. It's like he's behind Bam Adebayo. But like, you know, his his talents will show up. Okay, so you don't think the heat have to be blown up? Blown up? No, absolutely not. You think they're still, and, and, still like a decent Butler is 33, dude. Uh, yeah, but that's sort of like you know, still old. So when was the last time you played basketball, dude? Man, I, I play every weekend. What are you talking oh, about? really? Yeah. That's good. No, that's the only thing I do on the weekends. Just, I mean... I I can only play on the weekends because weekdays it's com- like absolutely too busy. Timings are not at all conducive for my uh, strength and conditioning. Oh. Anyway, we on that we note we'll end this uh, episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, let us know what you feel. We are we are now uh, you can be proud to be associated with the thousand follower group on Instagram. So four digits, four digits, baby, four digits. So hit that like button again. Once again, reminding you. Episodes are going to be more regular, whatever it is. Cheers. Uh, hit that like, share, subscribe button. And we'll catch you for the next episode. Till then, we need to say bye-bye. Bye-bye.